Hey guys, and today I will be moving my two Pacific tree frogs from an Exoterra Nano to a Zoomed 12 by 12 by 18 terrarium. This terrarium uh, is going to be a planted one with live plants and everything, and it's going to be a huge upgrade for my two Pacific tree frogs. It comes with a lamp, eco earth, some moss, a plastic plant, which I'm not going to use because I want it to be a, like a planted terrarium and a guide, some water conditioner, and reptile vitamins. And I, as well as um, what it includes, I got some other supplies. Some of the things that I got, as well as the terrarium, is a naturalistic rope vine from National Geographic. It's a natural looking one and it's bendable. Two humidity gauges and a thermometer, a food or water bowl, forest moss to go on the floor of the terrarium, and the terrarium comes with eco-earth and moss, so it's even more than this. Lastly, I got a little corner water bowl. So now I'm going to begin setting it up. Hey guys, so I don't know if I mentioned this, but we will be using the live plants. So yeah, we're using the live plants and here we're just opening the terrarium and getting it ready to put the plants and everything in. And I think we made a mistake by not taking out the background first. We added some eco-earth and then forgot to take out the background, but I think we do that later. So yeah, here we are um, taking out the background as soon as we put the first thing of eco-earth. But I'm putting eco-earth in now, and that's me putting the eco-earth in. And we put um, a, a pretty good layer, but not too much, because too much is obviously not good. And so... Now we're just rinsing the plants and putting them in. Taller plants in the back and shorter ones in the front to get more like a hilly, kind of more natural, tropical look. Even though Pacific tree frogs are tropical, I wanted to make it, uh, I wanted the terrarium to look good as possible. And I'm taking the forest moss and just putting it in on the bottom where the eco earth is, as well as the twigs and the naturalistic vine, as well as some moss on it. So I was going for a really nice natural foresty look. And so I finished and now I'm just putting in the first frog, I think it's the big guy, his name is Bandit, or her name, and the little one's name is Banana, so it's Banana and Bandit. Don't know their genders yet, but I do know they are 100% Pacific Tree Frog or Pacific Course Frog, whatever you want to call it. And so now I'm taking Banana, the little one out, and putting him in his or her new enclosure where they'll spend the rest of their happy little lives together. And I'm hoping they, one is boy, one is female, and they breed and breed and have tadpoles. So then I release the tadpoles back into the wild, and it will raise the population for these guys because these guys are a big food source for the animals here, and they play a big part of the ecosystem in my neighborhood in this biome. So this is the terrarium. It's very natural looking. They enjoy sitting in their water bowl, drinking water and resting, so, and hiding in the plants. So, um, this is the terrarium, is a, going for a naturalistic look, and I put the thermometer and humidity gauge in, everything was fine, and it's a really pretty terrarium, I'm really happy how it turned out. So, enjoy the rest of the video, thanks! Birds flying high, you know how I feel Sun in the sky, you know how I feel Reeds drifting on by, you know how I feel It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me I'm feeling good A fish in the sea You know how I feel River running free You know how I feel Blossom in the tree You know how I feel It's a new dawn It's a new day
Dragonfly out in the sun You know what I mean, don't you know? Butterflies all having fun You know what I mean Sleep in peace when the day is done In this old world Swinging it back when I want 